It's time for another two-minute tech tutorial for teachers. This was pretty special. It's the unfailable quiz. A big shout out to my colleague Lindsay McKee for sharing this one with me this year. My kids ask for it by name now. Now the tutorial is going to assume you know something about Google Forms and making them into quizzes. If you need more information on that, I have a tutorial about self-scoring Google Quizzes that goes into more detail. Click the link on the top right corner. So I'm making a question based on a vocabulary term in language arts. It might be your math problem or another term for your class. And I'm going to remove my timer here just because I need you to see that I'm clicking the three dots right over here, right there, to pick data validation. And I did not cheat on that timer. You can go back and check. Okay, so I choose text because the answer is text. And the way to make this the unfailable quiz is I'm going to tell it it must contain and put the text of the answer. Their answer has to contain the correct answer to submit it. And I also usually put for custom error text something about checking your spelling because if the term is onomatopoeia, they have it right and spelled wrong, the computer won't accept it. So what does this look like for the student? Click the eyeball. This is the student response. So as they try to enter something, they can't submit it until the correct answer is put in there. Just like a required question won't move on until they put any answer, this means only the correct answer will allow them to move on. And if I go back, you can see my one response box there with my one question quiz. This doesn't really work as a quiz uh, so much as a study guide. Practice, math teachers, you know, practice the problems and they can't uh, move on until they get that answer correct. It just, it's nice because it gives them immediate formative feedback during their, um, during their classwork or during their assignment or during their homework. I hope you can find a way to use it in your classroom because I found it helpful.